Do you believe, ma'am, that there is, the time has come for more judicial accountability? The government has been bringing or trying to bring in legislation, but what is your own view that as far as the collegium system is concerned, for example, is there scope for greater judicial accountability according to you? No, there is necessity for judicial accountability, but I feel in every system there will be a flaw. Therefore, I wouldn't be able to choose between either of the two methods of selecting judges. So ultimately, you know, as long as honest judges, efficient judges are appointed, then that will be the real solution to the judiciary. So I really cannot say whether the present college system is bad or good or that the new system will be bad or good. We have to test the new system. But as of now, I think the judges have to be careful in selecting the persons who are appointed as judges because they wield enormous powers and therefore it is necessary to have an efficient judiciary. One of the big developments this country saw, ma'am, uh, over the last few years was the setting up of specialized tribunals across various industries and sectors. Do you think that has worked? Because there are some critics as well of that entire mechanism. Where do you stand on this? Do you welcome tribunalization? I would suggest that every high court and the Supreme Court can have permanent benches to deal with tax cases, to deal with company matters. And that, I feel, will be a better solution than constituting tribunals. Because tribunals are, of course, manned by both. There will be a judicial member as well as a technical member. To that extent, they may have the benefit of the expertise of a technical member. But I feel that there can be amendment to the rules of the High Court and the Supreme Court to say that there will be a permanent commercial bench or a permanent tax bench to deal with these issues rather than having tribunals for this purpose.